Well, g'day everybody and welcome back to SnowRunner. Alright, so we're going to take this little beast for a bit of a spin today. So we shall start by doing that. Now, uh, we're in Alaska. I thought I might mix it up a little bit and I might come into Alaska. Now, as you can see, I have had a bit of a drive around this map. But uh, at this point in time, there are some things that I haven't unlocked. Some towers. So, I thought we might start by moving down towards this watchtower. Have a bit of a drive around and uh, see what we can find. A little bit of an explore, so uh, so no actual jobs or anything today, but um, that's okay. Now, let's go in here and uh, take off. We should really take the handbrake off. Uh, maybe turn the lights on. There we go. Alright, so I hope everybody's well. Um, I haven't taken this vehicle for a ride yet uh, so this is really the first time I have done some upgrades on it but uh, how awesome is it so I thought maybe well we've got some upgrades on it and uh, it might be it might be all right to drive around here we do want to drive around and have a look at uh, you know see if we can perhaps find some vehicles to unlock and stuff uh, on this map which would be pretty cool little horn there okay so we're in on icy roads I'm not used to driving on icy roads as I said I, as you can see by the map I have had a bit of a drive around here but uh, not too much of a drive around so come on drive 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 check this out <laughs> she's an old beast all right. Oh, yep. Pretty slippery roads, definitely. I'm not sure what type of uh, terrain we're going to come across or how we're going to find this um, find this watchtower, but we'll soon find out anyway. Okay, this is probably all pretty boring driving for you guys, uh, just driving along a an icy bitumen road, but. Uh, I can assure you we will most likely be doing some off-roading very soon. Come on. So I think it's going to be a completely different beast driving around in the snow and the ice to, uh, to what we're used to in the other maps, so... I don't think I've done any jobs. Ah, look, we've got a we've got a job here that needs to be completed, which is uh, hmm. Okay, do you reckon we can? I don't reckon we can get across there, can we? We'd be pushing it to drive across there. So we obviously need to do some form of work here. Uh, let's just actually let's just go back a bit see what this job is okay so local authorities need a driver they've got a metal bridge that needs some serious renovations you'll need to haul the necessary supplies out there so work can begin pay looks good fine we will accept that and we will park this beast up here there we go all right, and shut this fella off. And then what we'll do is we'll go back into the garage and we will deploy a truck. So, uh, metal bridge. Nope, nope, come on. Metal bridge, metal bridge. Yep, I highlight that one. All right, so which is this task? Uh, bridge repair. So let's start tracking that. We're going to have to go over to the factory, by the looks of it, to um, to get ourselves some metal beams. So we need to start with metal beams. We can get these ones up here, or we can get these ones over here. So we might actually head over here, I think, and try and get those ones. So let's see if we can get into the garage here. 
and pick an appropriate truck. Now, obviously, I absolutely love this fella, and I absolutely love this fella as well. So I think what we might do, we have the uh, Kodiak, uh, the Paystar. So I think we might uh, try the Paystar on this one. Uh, let's deploy that, and let's go into Customize. I'm not sure whether... I have unlocked, so we've got stock and extended. So we've got an extended winch on it. Uh, I'm not sure whether we've unlocked. We have unlocked some tyres. What have we got? 17,200. So, uh, oh, we have the, yeah, we have those ones on. So there's really no point in changing those out yet. Uh, let's see what else. Frame add-ons we'll leave as they are because we're doing some steel. So, Yes. Let's leave that at that, and back, and leave garage. All right, let's head over there, and uh, or we'll have a look at the map for starters. So I think we're going to need to go, let's, let's head down the road, same way as what we did. We'll duck across there, and make our way through here, I think, and head up to that one. We'll do it that way purely because I'm not exactly sure how we get up here. It looks like we can get up here through this road here. So we could possibly do that if we wanted to. Uh, which probably makes a little bit more sense, doesn't it, to start unlocking some stuff. So let's head up here and uh, we'll see where we're at when we get to there. Okay, start this beast up. There we go. Alright. Take the handbrake off. Put the lights on. Come on. There we go, they're on. Alright, so I don't mind this truck. It's actually a pretty cool one. Uh, let's do that. Put him back in there. Yeah, it's actually a really cool truck, this one. I, uh, I have enjoyed using it, so. There we go. Still a few upgrades to do on it and unlock on it, but uh, at this point in time, I haven't managed to come across those upgrades yet, so. I am a pretty slow player. So we'll keep him running as long as we possibly can without putting all-wheel drive on. Just to conserve fuel, when you put all-wheel drive on, you end up with... Uh... Okay, it looks like we're going this way. When you put all-wheel drive on, you end up using more fuel, so... Oh, we can't get through there. Why can we not get through that pipeline? So it does look like we're going to have to come back by the looks of it. Let's close that. Uh, let's go to external view. Come on. Yeah, so it looks like there's a job there that we're going to need to repair that pipeline by the looks of it. So uh, there might be a way under the pipeline there. So let's see if we can actually find a way through to there maybe all right let's go let's see what we can do using the controller again as opposed to the steering wheel I'm not sure whether the game's going to allow us to cut through here or not so it looks like we've got snow on the surface and mud on the bottom. Okay, how will this thing go driving through all this snow? Okay, let's put uh, that on. I don't think we're going to make it through here guys, to be honest. I think there might be too much snow. 
and already we've found ourselves stuck so uh, let's see attach that to that Well, that was a deep hole we got ourselves into, wasn't it? And I guess it was silly of me to think that we could even uh, that we could even do that. Let's go back into the map again, uh, clear all that stuff, and let's continue on this way. Then we'll go past bags of ice, back down to here, along here, and we will stop at the fuel station on our way past and see if we can get through that big slush there all right so we'll chuck a yui here i think and go back the other way so pretty thick snow over there definitely And off we go. Let's uh, perhaps take it out of all-wheel drive for now and see how we go. Not very well it seems. There we go. Having a bit of trouble with the sensitivity, I think, on the uh, the panning around with the right stick. So, may not be the best uh, truck choice for this. We'll see how we go anyway. Gee, the scenery looks fantastic, doesn't it? With all the snow and... All the snow sitting on the branches of the trees and stuff. Come on, you can do it. Alright, now I am going to test out a, um, a new output format after I do the edit on this. So, um, to try and get a different Kodak and increase the quality of my footage when it's uploaded to YouTube. Because YouTube uh, certainly messes with compressions and stuff a lot. So, if you guys could let me know, uh, it would be really appreciated in the comments if you let me know how well... Um, the video streams and plays for you and uh, if the changes have increased the quality or with or uh, then I can sort of work out whether I'm better off staying with the uh, previous exporting system that I was using so so uh, please do let me know in the comments if it streams well for you um, I am pretty sure the quality will be better but uh, it's a matter of streaming and whether you have any problems streaming and whether you have any buffering problems or anything like that. So uh, if, if it works quite well and nobody has any problems, then I will probably carry that uh, exporting system onto my other videos, including Lumberjack's Dynasty and Gold Rush. So, all right slowly making our way through this slush here let's maybe get past these trees there we go okay gas is to the right which means we're going to the right I don't want to jinx myself but she seems to be doing quite well going through here
I really can't wait to start unlocking some raised suspension on some of this stuff. It's certainly going to make a huge difference. Let's see if we can uh, get up here and cut across here. Stay out of all that slush as much as we possibly can. That seems to be doing all right. So I think we're nearly at the gas station now. Look at that, look at the way those tyres are chopping through this snow. Yep, this is a gas station here, let's cut across. One thing I think I've learnt is that you really do need to uh, fuel up whenever you get the opportunity, so. Alright, beautiful. And off we go. Uh, I think I need to put some more markers in, don't I? Let's have a look. Oh. Yes, I do. Not that I don't think we'd be able to find that, but... Stay in the more solid ground, hopefully. That camp is very similar to one that you will find in the American map as well, so... Alright, are we going to get through this water over road? I think we probably can, to be honest. Alright, lovely. Look at that. Love it. Well, that was no problem at all, was it? Up we go. Doesn't look too slushy, it looks relatively solid through here. Oh. Bit of slush here. And we are back on bitumen by the looks of it. Icy bitumen, no less. Oh, sliding out. Okay. Now, I'm not sure. Uh, I've heard that if you load stuff with your crane yourself, you actually get more uh, more money and more experience for the job, but I'm not overly sure whether that's correct or not, so... If anybody knows, just let me know. Okay. Let's just, uh... Oh, come on. I'm going to stop there. I'll get close to this, uh... Close to this pad here. There you go. Alright. Cargo management. Uh, let's see. Large pipe. Metal beams. Uh, right trigger. There. Metal beams. Okay. So now we need to deploy the crane. Activate the anchors. Uh, go into crane mode. Now, I haven't used the crane with the uh, controller before, so... Uh, let's see... C 
Okay, how do we move? Move crane. Ah, oh, there you go. That's pretty simple. Okay, attach and detach cargo. Uh, winch up. That's pretty intuitive. Come on. Oh, it's having trouble getting that up. See if we can bring it a little bit closer. There we go. Oh. Uh, lift and lower, right button and left button, okay. I have a bit of a problem with my uh, left button on my controller. It doesn't actually like uh, lifting. Uh, it doesn't actually like pressing very much. Okay. Alright, so cargo rotation, that's pretty easy. There we go. And lower you down. That should be alright. Okay, so let's uh, let's see. Pack cargo and restore crane. Lovely. Alright, so we've got uh, metal beams that we are ready to take out to the job. So before we go too far, let's have a look at where we're going here. We need to move down to the bridge, so what I might do is we might go down and go through here and explore this area and see what that's like. Looks great, this Alaska map, doesn't it? Okay. I would hate to imagine what it would be like to live... Um, well, we're supposed to be going that way. To live somewhere where it, uh, where it gets so cold and it's so snowy and icy all the time. Being in Oz... Um, 10 degrees Celsius is free, is bloody cold for us, so I could imagine having to live in something like this, it'd be, uh, it'd be pretty tough, I reckon. So this road doesn't look too bad, does it? Okay, what's the detour? That is the question. Uh, okay, we could get up to that watchtower, possibly. Hmm. I think we might leave that for when we've got a scout, to be honest. All right, let's take the uh, let's take the detour. Might try and stay out of this slush here. That looks pretty, uh, pretty muddy there. This looks like a tough one to get through. Hmm. It's almost one of those ones that you really need a diff lock to get through. I didn't want to go up on the side or anything because I didn't want to roll the truck. Let's try and not lose our momentum going through here. Lovely. Alright. Ok, 
Okay, we've got another chunk of slush here by the looks of it. Keep our momentum going. Now, can we dodge this? This snow looks pretty... Oh, no, 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 no. Well, that was a bit lucky, guys, I must say. Might stay close to this edge so that we can latch onto one of these trees if we need to. Come on. Okay, it might be time to uh, attach a winch to that one there. Oh, you goose. Alright. Attach to that one there. Pull ourselves out. Oh dear. I'm not sure whether this is going to be a success. I also don't know whether I've got a snorkel on this. Uh. Oh, yep. Okay. Uh, we can get over to that tree there. Pull ourselves through, that's lucky. Okay, so what I'll do now is uh, I'll do another winch, but this time I will attach the rear of the truck to that tree and pull ourselves up that way. Well, that seems to work, doesn't it? Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a tough job, guys. I should have gone the other way. Because there's no way this fella's going to get through this. Okay. And I don't know whether our winch is going to be long enough to... Uh, let's see. Come on. Oh, had it there. I don't think this is going to pull us through, is it? Nope. Ah, that will, though. Alright, if we can keep ourselves close to trees at all times, then we might be okay. As soon as we're not winching, we're getting stuck. Still moving forward very, very, very slowly. Let's try another winch. Let's do the rear. To there. That should be okay. Okay, uh, more. Attach that one to that. Okay, 
One thing that I should be doing is putting ourselves in low. Come on, beastie. Might be a bit better going through here. If we stick to where these high ridges are. And not turn the wheel. Get a bit of momentum going. Yeah, we really couldn't go over that side, could we? Okay. We shall persist. On there. The reason why I want to stick right to the edge here is to um, to give us the as many options as we can for winching. There you go. Yeah, I think this is going to do some serious engine damage. We may end up having to recover our truck. <laughs> okay, seeing how we don't have a snorkel. Hmm. Let's try and hook to that. Nope. Well, oh, blundering through in this Im idiom way. Uh, let's see, maybe try and pull this one from there. See if we can get some more forward momentum happening without uh, rolling ourselves. Okay, we're definitely moving while we were. Moving very, very slowly. Well, this has been a tough road to get through, hasn't it? Uh, let's see winch to that tree there don't want to get too far up on that bank alright we're nearly out we're nearly out uh, nope let's try that one onto there. Lovely. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Come on. <laughs> don't, don't want to winch that way. Alright. Attach that winch to... Something solid. Hopefully that one will be okay. Nope. I'm just killing absolutely everything that I'm winching to there. But as long as it gets us out... Sometimes all it takes is just a tiny little bit of... Ah, oh, look, we did have diff lock on this. I didn't think I did. Well, there you go. That probably would have helped us a lot, wouldn't it? I 
All you guys are probably sitting there at home just looking at it going, <laughs> he hasn't put diff lock on. He should be using diff lock. And you would be right. Let's go back to there. Okay, we've got 89 litres of 240 litres left in the tank after all of that effort. Come on. Don't get us stuck. Come on. I may actually turn diff lock off for now and see if we can conserve a little bit of fuel because we are getting pretty low. I'm pretty sure we're all also nearly at the uh, bridge as well, so... Come on, you can get out of here. There we go. Lovely. It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it, where... Uh, what's mud and what's not mud. Oh, yep. That, that was a little bit silly. Hitting that bank of snow. Good guys. There we go. Back on the icy bitchman. Sixty four liters left. Look at that. Cargo management, unload. Cockpit camera not available underwater, skip scene. Ah, <laughs> uh, lovely. Accept. Okay, so the question remains, why is there concrete barriers in here? Because that is not helping us at all, is it? Nope. Job's definitely done. Alright, let's park this fella up here. And stop the engine to save a little bit of fuel. And we shall... Hmm. We shall call this an episode. I don't know, I don't understand why those concrete barriers are actually still there. I thought they would have removed once we completed that quest, but uh, nonetheless, we will see what happens. All right, guys, I will see you in the next episode of SnowRunner. Uh, a nice, unconventional way of getting through there, but uh, I should have just put diff lock on. Slap me on the back of the head. Call me Mary. All right, I will see you in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.